Luigi Bargini. Luigi Bargini feels like his life's work is completed. He's decided that next Sunday he'll go to Mass and give thanks to God for making his dreams come true. He feels a little guilty though, because he hasn't been to Mass in probably 20 years. But his wife has gone every week, and surely she has talked to God a lot about Luigi and the family. God must like Luigi, because he's now closed the most important business deal in his life. He's seen his son, Roberto, succeed in his first assignment with Accenture, and he thinks that finally his daughter Anna is going to get married. He warned his children a few months ago that if they didn't give him a grandson or granddaughter in the next five years, he would adopt an Indian child through his friends in the Ministry of Industry in New Delhi. About once a year he visits India to renegotiate an annual contract for the supply of 30,000 car seats to a factory in Madras. He has made good friends with several people in the ministry, but now he's going to have a son-in-law and hopefully grandchildren. Karl Polster did what Luigi thought no man could do win the heart of his hard-working daughter Anna and he's also helped Luigi's company win the most important supply contract in its history. Starting in nine months Luigi's company will supply 16,000 car seats every month to the Mercedes factory in Stuttgart. It will mean a 32% increase in sales. In addition by this time next year, the company will surely be number one in Europe in car seat manufacturing. Luigi remembers how he started the company when he was 27. He has come a long way since then. His only regret now is that his son Roberto is not part of the success. But Roberto's already gaining the attention of the top managers at Ascension. Luigi has no doubt that his son will soon make his name in the world of engineering or consultancy in Italy. It's logical. He has Bargini blood. 